Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Fummy in the Philippines. Well, weather update. It's overcasty, but not too bad. Yesterday, showers all day long. It wasn't heavy showers, just light showers. All day long until about 3.30 in the afternoon. And then it stopped and the sun came out absolutely gorgeous over, over the, um, what side is that? The, the western side. The sun was just going down, it was blue sky, absolutely gorgeous. But this morning, well, it's not raining yet, so that's good. Considering there's a big ass cyclone coming or tornado or whatever you want to call them. Each, each country has a different name for them. And there's an international name, Ray. And now they're changing, when it hits the Philippines area of operation, it changes its name again for the local Philippine name. But as you can see, it's all quiet here on the farm. Quiet as hell. So this gone up the back and got durians from the harvest up here. So number four had fallen down overnight. So we're just waiting for, we have another special variety on uh, one, one type of durian. And when that first one drops, then we come in and harvest a whole lot. And uh, that's a special variety that where they've got a good shelf life. So they can pick the whole friggin' tree. You have to wait till the first one drops, but that hasn't dropped yet. So, well, look at this. Deeper. Hmm. So David probably come in through the gate. Right, so all the animals are going okay. Hey parrot, you right? Getting heaps of shags. So big shout out to Mountain Man in his channel. So uh, a lot of you guys have gone there and had a look at his channel from the end screen. Mountain Man, nice guy, I tell you. He's got an incredible house he's building, and. Um, he used to send me some um, some emails on the build on how it's going. And uh, the same thing, he's taking his time, getting it done right the first time. And he's doing a bloody good job. So if you haven't gone to Mountain Man's channel, I highly recommend, guys, he's going to be one to be looking out for. He's got some real good stuff. Even though he is American, you know, he's a bloody nice guy. Mountain Man, we'll put another one of his videos up here. Okay, at the end screen. Right, so have a look at this. Everything's going good. Oh, God. What's happening? Right, the solar light. This morning, five o'clock, it's still nice and shiny and bright. Still nice and shiny. And it over reflects this one here. So this one here was one that we had up. I said, this cost us around three grand for this one. You look at that one there, that one's under a grand. 300 watt. Seriously, guys, very impressed with that light. And in fact, I'm gonna be ordering another two myself, just for myself today. So I'm going to put one at the front gate and one at the back gate, nice and high, so it lights up and I'll pull those lights out and I'll stick them around the farm here somewhere. But I'm uh, very impressed, so again, I'll put the link down below in the description box for those lights, and I'll tell you, very impressed, and the price, 57% off, you know? And if you, use the, if you use the link down below as well, you also get another 5%. So there you go, guys. Absolutely, people say, why do you stick it on a six metre pole? Well, the pole comes in six metres, and if I cut it off at five metres, what I'm going to do with the other metre? So I might as well use the bastard. And I said, of a night, that lights up this whole area when it comes on. This whole area's lit up. I am very impressed with that. So anyway, the, um, I was checking the emails this morning, and the uh, suppliers, suppliers contacted me again and said, thank you very much for your, um, your, your video review on our product and uh, lots of people are buying it because they tell by the link when you click on the link they actually in order it actually t tells them that um it's come from people on our channel so um they're so impressed they said look we're going to send you out some more stuff to have a look at and we'll put it in the post over the next couple of days so it's a different type of light all together for a different area so i said well i've got to be happy with that you know like fmd guys got to be happy with that so like i said it is a very good light Oh, some people have asked, why didn't I use the U-shaped brackets that Mike and Ivy? Well, that's that's what I actually was going to originally use. But um, when the pipe turned up, when Papa turned up with the pipe, um, I had it in the workshop, as you've seen, and I put the clamps on and they're too small. So I'd have to heat them up, bend them, make them wider. So I might as well just stick a one-inch bloody um, flat bracket on the back. And I said, it's done the job. But my original thought was, yes, to use those u-shaped bracket from mike and ivy i thought you fucking do this will work bloody perfect you know oh no 
I said, look at this. Rain yesterday like you wouldn't believe. As in, all the chickens are like wet. The turkeys are walking around soaked as anything. And it's like, lucky I got that cover up because I was able to put all the feed up underneath the cover for them. So that's one good thing. Put one inside the chicken hotel and I put two out over here. So last night the rain stopped, so I pulled them out. I put them down here this morning for them to feed. But uh, like I said, it's all going bloody good. Pigs are going good. We had a woman come yesterday and um, she said, oh, I want to buy six pigs off you. So so those are all gone. She goes, oh, okay. I'll keep an eye out then. Then, um, mama, get it out of your head. You got food all over your head. So, um, another guy came. This is true, I don't talk shit. I don't have to talk fucking shit. Is another guy came and he picked up the one little bacon that, that was in the pen by himself. And he said to Chick, if you have a full litter again, he said, uh, around 10, let me know and I'll buy the whole litter in one hit. You know, I'll pay for them in the, you know, when, when they're born. You know, after the first two weeks, I'll come and pay for them then. So that when they're, ha when they're weaned off. Hey guys, still not eating all your brekkie? No? Hey? Hey? You're still fighting each other? They've been fighting each other, they've got scratches all over them. Only two can fit in here, and of course they're fighting for it. Absolute fighting for it. They've got scratch marks all over them. Bloody stupid wankers. Wankers, you, look at them, wankers. Right, so it's not too bad, I said we burn mosquito coils every night. That's what the uh, the bottles are for. I used to have uh, the beer bottles there, but um, people were commenting, why you got beer bottles? <coughs> Excuse me. Why you got beer bottles at your goat house? Well, that's well, it was wine bottles, I think it was. I said, well, that's what we use to put, you know, put all the coils on. So, yeah, we're not cheapskates here. So just burn a mosquito coil each night at the front gate. They sleep down here. They sleep over there. And uh, it works well. You can burn coconuts. We used to burn coconuts in the old days. we pull the coconuts out, and that's when it was all dirt, or all this was all dirt. And uh, Mama used to, before, she used to burn the coconuts here of night just on um, sunset when it's coming on to and just put the smoke through but uh, like I said now find it easy just to put some bloody coils down for the pink smoke you know it's not hard is it it's not like it's all oh, that's fucking expensive you know I can't do that you know like there's a big storm coming I've only got one can of spam and I've got no gasoline for the generator it could be out of fuel you know if we lose the roof and everything we'd be out of fuel for months months but um, we're not right so that's it so yesterday was a quiet day I said the um, rain all day long, all day long, because I wanted to get all the front area done on the mower. I wanted to get all that done to finish compete, but it didn't happen, I'm afraid. It just didn't happen with the weather. But not to worry, not to worry. All right, well, it's time for a coffee, guys. So I've got the pigs fed and the chickens and all that fed, turkeys fed, everything's watered down, everyone's happy. Sam's happy. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam, you fucking fat dog, you. Number my whole will be upset with you. Hey, hey. Uh. Well, Sam on Chick's channel is getting all the views. All the views, her, her most watched videos are on Sam. So I'm gonna make a video later just on Sam. But Sam, you're day stamping me again. Get out. Look, 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 really, really, oh, I don't know guys, so if you, if you have dogs and you treat them well, you know, they pick up your personality and they're really nice and calm, you know, you see these people with these um, rock wheelers and bloody shit like that and they come up and they beat their dog, oh, teaching him to be tough, fucking dickheads, you know, get out and bite some little kid and bloody rips his cheeks off the, off some little kids, that happened in Australia a lot with the pit bulls to get out and just bite a little three-year-old or five-year-old and fucking bite their fucking face off. Seriously, sick fucking people. Sick people. All right, guys, I'm going to say TTFN. It's a lovely day today. I'm happy. I said it'll rain later on for sure, but um, we'll just take it from there. Don't forget to have a look at the uh, Mountain Man videos up here, guys. Hit the um, subscribe button to him, okay? See you later, guys. Bye-bye.